Welcome back to the Uranium Fever channel. In today's video, we're taking a look at the latest data mines of items coming soon to Fallout 76, featuring new camp items, weapon skins, festive outfits, and some really exciting first visuals of the latest camp shelter. Atlantic City theme, the high stakes shelter is looking like a perfect recreation of the interior of the Neapolitan Casino from the Mission Tax Evasion, and looks like one of the most exciting shelters to come to the game so far. Let's take a closer look. Special thanks to Reasonable Madness and Sugar Bombs Rad for providing the visuals for today's video. Consistently giving us a first look at new items coming to the game, please give them both a follow. All their links are in the video description. Up first today, we have a new festive themed power armor skin called the Naughty Elf. An adaption of the previously released Grease Goblin power armor, this one definitely stands out. Another power armor skin on the way is the Civic Duty. This one is a little bit different though, as, as it will be available from a paid bundle for the Atlantic City update, alongside a host of other items. These include the Aquarium of the Atlantic Door, the amazing looking rig roll up backpack skin, large overgrown plushie, the Casino Quarter build kit, and the Honey Pot of Gold slot machine. Running through some camp items next, and we have the guest bed that looks like it could appear in a bundle alongside some Helvetia themed camp items. The latest dinosaur to come to Fallout 76 is the giant Triceratops, and we certainly have quite the collection of these now. A new donut themed backpack flare is on the way. Another highly anticipated build kit, the Ohio River Adventures dock kit will go perfectly with the latest prefab which is a boat. I'd expect to see these potentially appear in the same bundle pretty soon. The countdown to Christmas is beginning with a series of festive themed jumpers, with a reindeer, mothman and snow themed sweaters available. Here's a better look at them in game, in a series of storefront images. Defenses are getting some new additions in the form of a new set of junk walls. A single new pose has been data mined and this one is called the Femme Fatale. The radioactive outfit is a new female themed outfit choice. Not sure what I make of it myself, but it's tinged gold and comes with a unique headwear option as well. A new stash box option for your camp is the armoire and looks really good I think. Need a new bench for your camp? Then this new cushioned bench might be for you. This is an interesting one. On the surface it's another mirror option, but actually it's the latest hidden doorway you can use to trick visitors to your camp. A meat locker refrigerator looks like it will serve a similar function to a previously released camp item which preserves food a little bit longer. An interesting set of items next, and we have new storefront images for this series of utility boxes. These are actually just the latest small generators, and are actually bigger than I was first expecting. You can see the scale now thanks to these new images. Up next, we have some wall decor, and it's another mirror. Except that this one is just that. A collection of different items, we have a floor decor, tire road sign, table lamp, and Helvetian nightstand. The green bedside lamp looks like it will pair well with other items shown today. Moving on to weapon skins, where we have a soft serve paint for the plasma caster and a Nuka Cola quantum paint for the lever action rifle. One of the most interesting camp items on today's list, in my opinion, is the Centomatic. Previously theorized to provide a charisma buff, it will definitely do something like that, as it's listed as the latest camp utility item. Perhaps the most heavily anticipated weather station seen so far, the Snow Weather now has a series of storefront images which give us a much better idea of how it will look once implemented. And it gives me some hope that we might actually still be seeing it this year. Finishing up, we have a series of water decor items with the Holiday Garland, Broken Bell Reef, Blacksmith Sign, and Backlit Letters Set. The Xylophone is the latest instrument coming to your camp. Finally, for today, we have the newest camp shelter, the High Stakes. And we have visuals of almost every corner of this space, and it's a carbon copy of the Neapolitan Casino floor you'll be seeing in Atlantic City Part 1. When this was first data mined as a possibility, I was hoping we'd be getting something similar to that space, but to see such a close representation is amazing. We're getting plenty of casino themed rewards very soon, so having the perfect space to place them in will please a lot of players I'm sure. But what do you make of this new shelter and the latest data mined items? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this particular video, please consider subscribing to help the channel grow. We post a variety of Fallout 76 content, so turning on the bell icon is definitely the best way to stay up to date. With that said, well I'm off. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.